Ever since William Moulton Marston first conceived of a paradise island populated only by women, people have wondered whether Wonder Woman's home is secretly some kind of lesbian utopia. Because really, are we supposed to believe that this civilization would know nothing of love just because there aren't a few men wandering around? <laughs> After decades of queer subtext in the comics, the Wonder Woman movie finally answers this question once and for all but you'll have to be paying close attention to find out the truth. There are a few key moments in the film that quietly but firmly establish the Amazon sexuality. The most obvious of these comes when Diana questions Steve Trevor about the conventions of love and marriage in our world. Well, that's neat. It soon becomes clear that while the Amazons do not marry, they definitely do engage in various pleasurable activities with each other. Diana tells Steve that the Amazon books on love and sexuality came to the conclusion that men are essential when it comes to procreation, but when it comes to pleasure, unnecessary. Hmm, I wonder how the Amazons came to that conclusion. Harder! But this isn't the only hint as to the Amazon sapphic leanings. There's a more subtle hint in the form of the character of Menelippe, Antiope's right-hand woman and possible romantic partner. In a specific and spoilerific incident, Menelippe rushes to Antiope's side, crying out her name while the other Amazons remain silent. This passionate reaction isn't a surprise, as Menelippe was the first lesbian Amazon in the comics, right back in 1989. This could be a clue about Menelippe's sexuality, implying that there's something romantic going on under the surface between Antiope and her right-hand woman. Of course, this doesn't necessarily mean that the Amazons identify as gay. In fact, it's likely that they have no concept of sexual preference. Romance is just a part of their everyday life on their island populated by women. However, as Diana falls in love with Steve in the film, we would consider her to be bisexual. Now I know what you're thinking, but Wonder Woman isn't bisexual in the comics. Actually, she is. Diana has had several relationships with women over the years, and last year, longtime Wonder Woman writer Greg Rucker confirmed that she is indeed bisexual. Now, are we saying that Wonder Woman has been in love and had relationships with other women? The answer is obviously yes. The Amazons of DC Comics are also known to practice gay marriage, or as they call it, marriage. Even the earliest Wonder Woman comics contained a wealth of hints about the character's sexuality. And this is no surprise, as creator William Walton Marston was heavily involved in the queer scene thanks to his two long-term romantic partners, Elizabeth Holloway and Olive Byrne. These women contributed to the creation of Wonder Woman, and they continued to live together and with their children long after Marston's death. Patty Jenkins may not have been able to go into the Amazon sexuality in depth, but 75 years after Marston, Elizabeth and Olive created the character, Wonder Woman's debut movie definitely makes it clear that the Amazons defy all our heterosexual conventions. <laughs>